Hello, thanks for joining. And this is the second part of a three-part series on the Biden mandate and coming up with a turnkey solution for employers to comply with that Biden mandate. The first part of the series was talking about all the six components that are necessary to have a turnkey integrated solution. This second one is gonna be talking about one of the two really important components and that's vaccine verification. With vaccine verification, we're gonna look at the different types of vendors out there and what they're providing. And then we're gonna look at exemptions. So let's dive right into it. Number one, the kind of vendor that you don't wanna use is the vendor that literally will accept any type of vaccine card not review it, there's no manual or eyeballs on it, there's no database verification, and they'll just accept it. There's quite a few vendors out there doing that, so you don't wanna choose that kind of vendor. The second kind of vendor is acceptable. They are actually looking at each card. You have a human being looking at each card and determining whether there's any fraudulent activity going on with that card, if it's authentic, and they're comparing it to a database of all sorts of types of cards out there that they can use as, as commonly used vaccine cards to check to see if there's anything suspicious about it. The third vendor, which is a, a superior vendor, in my opinion, is the vendor that's able to check the vaccine card and compare it to a certain database. Now, unfortunately, there's no vendor out there right now that can check all the different databases. There's 80 plus databases out there, so it's still not complete, but they have relationships with a few of the bigger vaccine providers and can at least check on some of the employees, whether they are in the database. The other ones, they're doing the same thing as the second group is, and that's where they're just looking for fraudulent cards and looking for authenticity. Those are the three types of uh, vendors out there right now. I hope that was helpful. The other thing you need to think about with vaccine verification is exemptions. The vendor needs to be able to accommodate exemptions, whether they're religious or medical or some other reason uh, that the employer is allowing. Now, there's still some lack of clarity on what exemptions are going to be accepted with the Biden mandate. But in short, the uh, vendor should be able to have the capability, if necessary, to review and accept exemptions, either medical or religious. Hope that was helpful. Thank you very much and look forward to seeing you at the next part of the series.